Alright. I really don't talk in my videos, but this is the exception. I'm gonna get the official length and a weight. This one's pretty giant for the river system I was fishing. So, yep. Oh, yeah. Gotta keep slicing crocs on deck. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the nails, too. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of social media hate about my long nails. Don't stop me from catching fish, though. I'm gonna get mine. Definitely want to make sure you have yourself a good old trusty bump board. I think, um, this one goes to whatever that is. 33, 32, I'm gonna just say 32. So, yep, gonna get a bump for you guys. Alright, official bump. Mouth to the very end. Twenty inches. All right. Now, thing I'm curious about for this river system. Let's get a weight. All right. Hope you guys are ready for this. Twenty-one inches, seven pounds, and eight ounces. Crazy. No, I'm just fucking with you. That's not the weight. <laughs> Hold on, I'll get a live weight for you guys. Alright, official weight. It ain't seven pounds, that's for sure. Three, eight. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Do it again. Stir it out. Ugh. Three, eight, almost a four pounder. Craziest part about this fish is um, the girth on it. Yeah, she been, she's ready. Sucks I gotta keep her, but hey, the river system that I was fishing on, gotta be over 18 inches to be uh to uh you know legally harvest a fish out of their river system if you know you know all right after you harvest your catch or whatever you decide to keep it's time to clean up or clean them get yourself a nice sharp fillet knife there's just a rapala one i believe just cheap bomber one it was like 12 bucks and then got a bigger knife too and make sure you have some clean cold water ready to use. Go by him. Yeah, it's my first legal of the year. Big old mama. Um, show you guys how to clean it. I'm going to use every single, um, I guess, every meat or flesh bone in this fish. So, I'll show you guys how I like to clean it. Slate. Just got home. Just gonna go. Easy slit. Back at the gill plate. Nothing too crazy. I gotta be careful. I don't want to. I forgot to bleed out of the fish. So, bear with me. gonna suck but it is what it is I'll just clean it later want to stay right on top of that backbone hopefully do a good job practice makes perfect usually I bleed all my fishes but I was getting late I was on a time crunch. Now all I like to do is slowly go back. Oh, could have been fatal. Now, 
what I like to do is go on like this. This is just the way how I like to do it. Everybody got their own methods. Just do whatever works best for you. You work hard to catch your fish. Take your time. Harvesting quality meat. One side done. Now, what I like to do is flip it. Like this. Keep. Okay, I definitely need to sharpen this knife. on top of that backbone. Okay, hear it. Hear that? Just puncture the kidney or the air bladder. Now once I get to like three-fourths of the way, I will carefully push the knife all the way through so you can see that. Then angle your knife down right on top of the backbone. You'll hear it. Get every ounce of quality fish meat. Like I said, you work hard to catch a fish. Take your time cleaning it. Practice makes perfect. It's not erased. I mean, if I had a whole bunch of like purchase, I wouldn't care. I'll just fly through them. Butterfly them real fast. And yeah. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna butterfly the meat. Or butterfly the fillets. Get all the meat off of the rib cage. down got the rose look at that this is definitely a delicacy if you have never tried fish roll or any fish eggs walleye is really a good one so that I'm just gonna drop it in the water real fast 
And all the intestines. Cut that off. Guts. Everything. Then now, the bigger knife. What I like to do is just go here, actually. Improvise. Turn around. Shears. Cut off the wings. Bam. Butterfly. Wildlife fillets. I'll clean it later. Get all the blood out. And if you want to scale it, go ahead and scale it. Eat it with the skin. Do whatever. But I'm just going to cut it right down in half. Alright. That's cringe. There. Got one walleye wing right there. Cut that off. Straight to clean water. Another walleye wing right there. Cut that off. Straight to the water. Now it's time to get the quality clean fish fillets. Start from the back, Can angle it down, straight to the skin. This is exactly why I got the bigger knife. Bigger fish, smaller fish, I just end up using the little knife. Boom. Scaleless fillet. Clean it later, show you guys the results. It's one. Two. Bam. And if you really want to be all pretty and whatever, there's a, a row of pin bones right in the center. Just fill for it. They usually just run three quarters of the way. Boom. Now it's 100% boneless. No more bones in here. I'll clean it later and show you guys how white the meat is. Don't throw this away. Keep it. And then yeah, no meat left on here. Just the skin. Alright, as I was saying, I'm gonna use the whole fish. Besides the guts and stuff. That could be trash. I don't need that. Okay, that didn't work, shears, boom, this, fish stock, hold up, alright, had a little bit of intermission, gonna get the cheeks out. Out. A lot of people they call these freshwater scallops because if you poach it in hot water for like 15 or like 30 seconds, I guarantee you, it tastes probably better than scallops. Some people like to keep it on there, or like they just peel it off. Boom. So like, good and tender. To me, that's the best part of the walleyes. Do it again, stick the knife, angle it, be careful for your fingers. Take your time. 
practice makes perfect. A lot of people catch fish, but they don't clean it well. Or they just waste a lot of good quality meat. Bam! Another one. Freshwater scallops. And then this, I'll clean it up, scale it, use it for fresh walleye fish stock. Quality, quality fish stock. Alright, I'm going to clean up everything and show you guys the quality of the meat after cleaning it. Alright, so this is the color of the flesh right now, or at least the water. All you have to do is go through it. If you don't bleed it out, this is what you're going to have to do. It takes a little bit more time, but I really don't mind it. Because it was late for me to get home too, so... Hold on, time crunch. You know me. Time is money. So, just go through it. Clean it very well. And then, yeah, do it a couple times. And then, I'll show you guys the quality after I get done cleaning everything it off. That's the color of the water right now, right? And the flesh and the meat. The rolls. I'm going to fill it. The color of that and try to turn it white. It's gonna be magic. Watch. Boom! Ta da! Magic. All I did is just take my time, clean over some cold, clean water, massage all the blood out. All the blood is out. Look at the color of the water. Super clear. All the meat is all nice and white now. Quality meat. Now, all you gotta do is get yourself a Ziploc bag. This is how I like to store my fish to prevent it from a uh, freezer burn. Grab some water, cold water. Grab your fillets or fillets. Boom. Nothing but all meat. Just fill it enough to cover both of the fillets. Oh, I need a little bit more. You can vacuum seal if you have, have it. It's convenient. But I don't. So this is my hack of how I like to store my hard earned harvested fish fillets. 100%. Prevents you from freezer burn. If you was not to add water in it, I guarantee you your fish will go bad within a couple days to get super bad freezer burn. But yeah, if you used to take it out of the fridge, let it thaw, the quality of the fish will just be like as fresh, not as fresh, but it's, it's good enough. It's good enough as compared to fresh. Okay, that's how I store my fish. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I'll do a, I guess I'll do a cooking video in the future for you guys. Filet, for like walleye nuggets. And then this stuff, you guys are probably wondering what the hell I'm gonna do with this, right? Well, look at that, look at them chompers. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to cook with all the rest of the stuff that usually a lot of people throw away. Like, good quality meat right here. Wings. Well, these are the wings. These are more of the collars. Um, the pin bones. I got two freshwater scallops. What the fuck are they? Oh, there they go. Boom. Fresh water scallops. This one's gonna definitely be a more traditional. I guess you could say Asian or Hmong influence fish stock soup. 
And obviously, the walleye nuggets or whatever. It's just all good old golden crispy batter up and throw it in hot grease. But that's for another video someday. Let me know if you guys want me to hurry up and make a video for you guys with the with the cleaning and eating and whatever. All right, see you guys. Thanks for watching. Remember, keep them long nails on deck. Catch you fish.